uncertainty in measurements. There's, it's a two-step process to actually measure to the right number of sig figs. You do this. You got to look at your measuring device. You guys, what's the smallest increment on this device? What's the smallest lines? Here's one, here's two. What are each one of these tiny ones? How many units are those? The smallest increment on this device is, can anybody help me with that? The tenths. It's the tenths. You see, here's one, here's two, here's three. The smallest increment, that means the smallest marks, is 0 0.1 units. Okay? This is just the first step in figuring out how to measure with this. What's the smallest increment on this one? All right, if you said uh, 10 units, you guys see here, this is 0, 100, 200. This tiny increment is just 10 units. And finally, this one right here, let's try this one. See if you guys get this part. What's the smallest increment on that ruler? Well, if each one of these is 0 0.1, that's 0 0.2, 0 0.3, each tiny one is 0 0.01 units. You see that? That's the first step. We just got to figure out how many units uh, what's the smallest increment? Now, here's the punchline, and we'll get done with this. And you guys, what I want you to do tonight is try the measurement website, try the rest of this. You're going to have questions. There's going to be problems. We're going to work on it next time in class. So, but I need you guys to get stuck. If you don't get stuck, you're not going to have any questions. So, I do need you to get stuck. Uh, so, once we've done that, now the question is how many decimal places? do I have to go to? When using a ruler with an incremented scale or any other tool like a, 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 like a weight scale, you can reliably estimate to one-tenth of the smallest increment. We found the smallest increment up here. This is what we found, the smallest increment. You can always go to one-tenth of that. You can estimate between the lines. Remember this? When we had only, uh, when we had a mark every 10 or 0.1 centimeters, we could go to the hundreds. When we had a mark every one hundredth of a centimeter, we could go to the thousands. You can estimate one digit beyond it. So, for example, if your smallest increment is 0.1, that means super easy. You can estimate to the what? What place? 0 0.01 centimeters. You can estimate to one tenth of that. How about this one right here? 0 0.01 millimeters. What could I estimate to? Super easy, you guys. Zero point. Zero, zero, one. Thank you, zero, zero, one. It's just, it just, and it's in millimeters. It's one-tenth of that. If it's one millimeter, we can estimate to zero point one millimeter. You can always estimate to the nearest tenth of whatever the marks are. What if the marks were one every hundred centimeters? That's kind of like this. This has a mark. It's only got marks at the very end zero and 100, if you had marks at every 100 centimeters, you could estimate to the nearest what? What do you think? Anybody? 10. 10 centimeters. Okay. Now we're going to put it all together and we'll see if we can get this. With this device, you can measure to the nearest what? Notice that this, what's the smallest increment on this device? What are these tiny ones? 0.1. Point one, so that means we can estimate to the 0 0.01. You can estimate in between them. These marks, what are these small marks? Each one of those is 10. How many units could we estimate to? What place? What place could we estimate to, folks? If the marks are every 10, we can estimate to the ones place. And on this final one, these marks are every one. So that means I can estimate between them to the zero point, what place could I estimate to? One. These marks are every one, so I can estimate to the one-tenth of that is point one. That's where we got that. Now, you guys, go ahead and try to actually measure these for next time. This is challenging. People think, oh, I know how to use a ruler, and then they get everyone wrong. You guys, make sure you're only going to the first uncertain digit, which is one-tenth of the... Uh, smallest increment. That's all I have for today. Try the web assign. Come back with questions. I will know uh, if you're if you are getting some wrong. I know you're trying. If you are getting none wrong, either you're a genius and you got this. Congratulations. 
or there's going to be a lot of mistakes. So no, no harm about that. Bring in questions. That is essential.